had this, 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 uh, I don't know, Rusty, I'm in a weird mood right now. It's just, I, I, I was pissed off today, plus, plus, uh, um, doing some damn transact SQL store procedures and they're not working, and it pissed me off too. And just, but see, this, I, I'm, I'm very moody. It depends, it depends what kind of mood I'm in. Uh, Apple slide unlocked victory over Motorola. Yeah, hey, hang on, we'll, we'll go into that. It, it, it's. Uh, I got other things I wanted to go over, um, and I'm trying to get there. Let's see how I that. Let me see. Apple unlock lock down. <laughs> Buntar. Thank you. Okay. Uh, not that there's a lot. It's uh, you know, Apple is a source of all legal hoopla. Um, it, it, That's not evil. I don't think. Uh, no, I no, said I said that. legal hoopla. I oh, didn't say evil. Yeah. Different. Yeah. For uh, uh, yeah, for those of you who are wondering, the audio qualities aren't just on y'all. Sometimes we have trouble hearing each other too. <laughs> uh, but um, no, it, you know, I'm honestly glad. Because honestly, this was one of the first things I installed on my Nexus One. I installed an app that disabled the slide to unlock stuff. I don't like the slide to unlock. Not like going. I just want to tap it. I just want to push a button. I don't want to. It looks cool. It's so awesome. Just with the tap. Yes. And it's locked. Yeah. That's it. I don't need to finish sliding or anything. You know, I want to unlock it. I, I can tap it. So, so I'm glad Apple won this slide to unlock suit against Motorola. <laughs> oh, because now that it's, means... It's annoying. It's like, every iPhone I owned, I could never really... Well, sometimes, but there's a, quite a lot of times that you get them with damn... It would go and I could just... You know, like, you'd get it like 90% and then you'd slip off or something. <laughs> yeah, I... I Honestly, I do not like the slide stuff. I, I like the jab stuff. The other thing is, honestly, uh, and I, I, I don't want to accuse Apple of anything, but I have noticed the gestures wear the screen out more. Because you're always doing the gesture in the same spot, so you're using the resistance up on that one spot up, so eventually you wear that spot of the screen out because you're Come using on. it way more. I, I don't, I do. Come on. It's, I, that I'm not going to buy. No, I've seen, there, I have... I don't, hell no. No. You, that, dude, that would take a thousand years, man. Uh, 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 no, 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 I'm not talking about wearing the glass out. Every time you touch a capacitance screen, uh -huh. it, 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 it handles the touch with less efficiency. You're dislodging stuff. It, it's, I don't know enough about capacitive screens. That's one, one probably one area in technology I lack at is. It, 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 it's the it's the same to put it in layman's terms. It's the same idea as if you're showing black bars all the time on a TV screen. Eventually, you burn in, no matter how good it handles preventing the bird in. It's the same thing on your touch screen. Every time you touch an area, you're using up some of the ability to touch. Just like you can only spend a hard drive so many times. Basically, it eventually wears out. It, 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 and it's the same thing with that. Uh, now, it'd be the same thing if it was a button in the same place all the time. Personally, what I would love is one that like bounces around the screen so it, it evens the wear out. So you're not always wearing the same thing out. Because I have seen this. If you, uh, if, uh, if you uh, do the same gesture, basically you wear that part of the screen out. And then when you're trying to touch things or do things in that area, it's less responsive. Sometimes you wind up touching something a, a little bit over because it's just not quite processing the things right. I've seen that on really heavy, heavy users that are like using their... 16 hours a day, your road warriors, regardless of whether it's an iPhone or an Android phone or whatever, I've seen it on all of them. Uh, and it's just, it's something that winds up happening. And it's uh, more often than not in the area where you have that zip, zip, zip for the gestures, which is why I don't like those. But, 
Uh, well, there's the one that we'll bring up that you don't want to go into. I'm just going to bring it up so people can go, what the fuck? Uh, Apple has patented the design of the MacBook Air. The shape of it, the feel of it, the sh it just is like if it looks anything like this, it's in violation of this patent they filed. I have a netbook here that predates the MacBook Air by five years, which is 99% the same design as the MacBook Air, aside from the fact it's not made out of aluminum. And the way Apple has patented this uh, patent, it is literally if it looks like it. Not that it's made out of aluminum, not that it's signed, just that it's signed. Which means technically this netbook design is in violation of Apple's new patent. Is this the patent I'm looking at? And I, I only read it. Yeah. It says, what, what, okay. Uh, and they included pictures. Wow. Uh, okay, so, well, this comes back from 1987? What? U.S. Patent Documents, 1987. Uh, oh, no, it's a continuation of other stuff. Well, this is talking about a device. The filing date. System, extendable and retractable. No, no, no. Claim the original designs for an electronic device. Are you looking at the patent one here? Wait, okay, I'm... What? what? Show me. This pattern's going back. Warp this 10, one. Warp 10? Okay, where's the other one? That, 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 that's the pattern's going backwards at warp 10. Yeah, I, I clicked that link, but it's... It it, it's the this. one they filed in sure, uh, last year, actually. Why, there's a, bu there's a bunch of numbers going backwards. <laughs> it, it, this is a continuation of other patterns. But right. it's, it's Which the link do you want me to click on? Which number? Uh, is it in 2007? Which one? No, not those. The, 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 those are reference documents. Right. The, this is the actual, the, the, this is the one that was filed in March last year as part of securing the design of the um, current MacBook Air. Like, click on the images. The, yeah, well, the, 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 the images at the bottom there, the images... Uh, yeah. It says one of 14 pages, but nothing is loaded. Will something load if I click it, or... There's something there, but it's blank, I suppose. Uh. Um, drawings... Anyways, basically what they're patenting is the look and feel. The, the, these 16 images are, the, are pictures of the MacBook Air. You're seeing the images? When you click, when you click on, the, on that images link, you see them? Because my, it just shows blank on mine. I mean, I have the, it, the patent office and all that other stuff, but it's not... It's not uh, I, I forget. You need some weird plug-in. Welcome to oh, the U.S. Oh. government. <laughs> Oh, you know, I need to plug in. Okay, I was like, let me see if it requests one from. Maybe it was requesting it. And I didn't see it. No, it's, it, it's because I'm on a Mac that it's not doing a. Probably, I had to get on a Windows system to see it. Like it's a quick time. It's doing a quick time plug in. You can. Well, you should better do that on your Mac then. Plug-in failure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny. A quick time plug-in fails to load on a Mac. <laughs> okay, that's the Oopla Award of the day. I even use Safari. Uh, I mean, I, I, oh my God. <laughs> plug-in failure. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Anyways, these pictures. You no, know, I bet you it was flash. It would run. Probably would. <laughs> uh, anyways, I, I, type of rub that I can get in. I, I, I do. <laughs> anyways, basically, the, the basically the based on the pictures they submitted, it, it's basically, oh well, this is what the MacBook Air looks like, and nothing can look like it. I'm like, 
Uh, that's funny. I, I can understand that on Linux because Apple doesn't like Linux, but on OS X you can't load a QuickTime plugin. That's funny. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not showing. Anything. Yeah, I don't understand. Um, wow. Uh, God, that's weird. Let's see. Um, let me let me let me copy this again. Link. Oh God, Google Docs just let me copy it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, the limitation of software it drives me nuts. Yeah, we just spent 40 minutes talking about that a minute ago. <laughs> Anyways, I don't think this. So I can see what you're talking about. Anyways, I don't think this patent will hold up. But it's a funny patent because I'm just thinking of all the net. Use this control. Download. Looks like Opera's gonna save the day. Okay, there you go. If your Mac won't work, get Opera. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, this is still on my Mac, but you know I like Opera. You, you were like, dude, I didn't know you like Opera. You, I, what was the question? I. I, I it, I forget. I don't really like Opera, but that's my personal preference. I know, because you were talking about layout. Though. Yeah. But, you know, I like their vertical layout with their little... Um, it, 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 the, opera is basically, we're Opera, we're different. You either like them or you hate them. It, it's, there's really no in-between. And they're, some of the things they do are different enough. I can see why they're this little... I mean, they're just this little niche platform that doesn't have a problem being a little niche platform. There's nothing wrong with that. Hold on. It is... Uh, Opera is doing a... Uh, bam! Look at this. Okay, where are we at? Okay, thank you. And... Cool. Let's go. All right. I had to do an update. <laughs> Click to activate the agent control. Click which. No, not. I'll start downloading something, but. It won't run it? It won't run it, yeah. It won't, um. I just find it funny. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous, man. Uh, no, you know, go ahead and talk about something else while I work on it. I'm going to move it over to my window. He's going to, like, not let this go now. He's got to see it now. <laughs> he's, got, he's, <laughs> he's, he's like, I have been denied. I must see it now. <laughs> oh. I, you know, I... This is just exactly why we need... Somebody, um... We had two people PM us going that, that Apple may be indirectly doing everybody a favor by abusing patents like this because uh, as, as they lose these cases, like the one against Samsung and whoever the heck, net, if they try and sue all the netbook manufacturers for looking too much like the MacBook Air, Apple's glorified netbook, right. uh, 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 it's like, will they finally restructure patents to stop this bullshit? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I, I cannot believe they got this patent. It's just, ah. Uh, it. Yeah, you know, the U.S. Patent Office is using QuickTime. This is QuickTime. Yeah, but you can't load QuickTime on a Mac, which I have to laugh at considering <laughs> Apple <laughs> makes QuickTime. <laughs> You know, honestly, that story is actually more interesting than the absurdity of this patent. If you two are having quick time problems on a Mac, it's like, of all the platforms I would expect you... Of, of all the platforms I would expect you to never have a quick time problem on, the Mac would be... It's, 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 it's done. I mean, you said this shit, man. God, I can't defend this. I don't know what the hell it was. It's embarrassing. 
I'm wondering if this isn't like a Quick Time Seven versus Quick Time Ten thing. It might be. It might be because the, the, that, that's little become little. a real problem as of late in the Quick Time stuff. It's it, it just it, especially as it, it gets Quick Time gets in a boxing match with itself, and it's just like. Eh. And I'm telling you, maybe I might quit it. If I let me quit it, because I had I had it open. Yeah. I had it open. That's funny, though. It is, isn't it? It's crazy. Uh, if we don't figure out what it is in the show, I want you to figure out what the devil it was, just so we can tell, <laughs> tell what it was. Because that's... I want to know what Apple's done to QuickTime now. I'm <laughs> um, just baffled. I forget what we were messing with the other uh, day. Uh, I, I was having a problem with an application that was built on top of QuickTime. And it wound up being something like that. It was a QuickTime 7 versus QuickTime 10 thing. And basically, the application was trying to use the QuickTime 7 hooks, but QuickTime 10 was overriding it, and QuickTime 10 didn't have those hooks. And it was just round and round you went, and everything was broke because of QuickTime. And it, it's... Uh, it, I don't have a problem with the fact that Apple changed QuickTime, but you don't just remove hooks like that. There has to be... I can understand them being, we don't think they're necessary and you have to install an additional layer to get them, but not just uh -huh. cut them off and break everything. Because right. of the sheer number of applications, plugins, and other things that were built on top of those QuickTime 7 hooks. It, it, it's, it kind of breaks the QuickTime platform if that's what it is. I'm, a, I I, 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 I'm yeah, guessing. You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm uh, oh, now my OS X mountain lion wants me, I was downloading it, it wants me to install it. But if I do that, I, well, I guess it could, but I have the show notes over here on my Windows machine. Mountain lion. I do like how it's named after cats, though. Okay. Uh, you know what? I remember. You know, I'm, I'm living now. I'm going back to the happy days of Apple. Man, I remember what 19 was the year 2000. It's the man. Dude, that, that that's like 12 years ago. I know, man. <laughs> it was it was that was some good shit back then. I, OS 10 was still we were like wow. I had, you know OS 9 I preferred for a little while, but I still went with OS 10. And I was intrigued by it because you know the whole Darwin Darwin thing was for. Um, Apple back then was very critical and marketed uh, OS X as being open source, very much like Linux. And and, and Steve Jobs even used. No, no, that was the, the that's the thing. I, I how how short the Apple fanboy memory is. They like Linux sucks. Linux sucks. I'm like Steve Jobs stood up on stage when he introduced OS X and said a Linux like kernel. <laughs> the fact that yeah, it was. Step. Yeah, the fact that it was yeah. Linux-like was what made it a selling point. Hi, we're like Linux. That was how they were selling OS X. I'm like... <laughs> it's like... Yeah, that's the thing. And now Linux sucks. Screw Linux. Linux bad. Like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, think, I think that an Apple, a true... Well, I don't know. I think that Apple is that just like Linux. They'll just say it's just not usable. That's not true. I used Linux. It's ironic, you know. I, I was bigger in Linux in, in 1999 and year 2000. Like Red Hat 6. Uh, 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 when it was really freaking difficult. No, no, no. See, th that was the thing. You looked at Linux back then, and you looked at early versions of KDE and early versions of Compiz, and you're like, this is great stuff, but it ain't cooked yet. I'm having to set up my network connection manually. Uh, I but, but, uh, yeah, I don't, it was okay. It was well, yeah, no, but 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 you compared it to what else was on the market, like XP that did all that for you, and OS Tim coming out and so on. And you were like, if this fixes these problems and gets cooked, it'll be great. But it ain't there yet. It needs to yeah, address my these things. System, probably, but I guarantee you, had I had more Linux clients at the time, I had I had I had three Linux clients essentially. Do you know they're still using the damn software? Um, it, it, I mean, that's how solid it is. Hmm. Uh, and and um, 
Really, you I, don't need... It, it, Linux systems are very, very stable. You, you basically redo them because you need the functionality of a new one. And that's why I like rolling systems, because then you really don't have to redo them. You just reboot them. <laughs> so, I just damn installed it. Firefox. Uh, maybe I have to restart the browser, yes? Probably. See, I see how I, I look. I, I, I'm looking at all these people on Twitter. Like, yeah, I just installed my one. I, could, I just formatted my. I'm like, what? I, said, I can't see. I can't do that kind of thing. And like, I have very sensitive things here. Um, I'm surprised you even downloaded it on that system. I, I, I mean, it basically... Well, the back line I can download because I can point it to my other hard drive. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. The, see, that's the thing. You don't ever do it on your production system. You have oh, this yeah, other no, system I, over... I'm kidding! My hard drive... I, I have it on backup. You know, I have images. And, and I'm very... But people have they're on a whim. just shows me how little they really even need a computer. To be, to be honest, it's just like... Oh, I can I wipe it out and I can start over tomorrow. <laughs> it's like you know, five minutes from now. For me, it would be such a apocalyptic disaster. Well, and I honestly wonder how many of those people are going to get that, are going to keep that mentality as bandwidth caps come into play. Because I know one of the things they're doing is they're wiping out all their media, but like on a Mac or something, they bought it all through iTunes, so they just re-download it all. But they're like, oh, well, it's downloaded by Monday. You know, I just leave the computer running on 24-7 using gigs of data. I'm like, are they going to keep that opinion of I can just wipe it out when they use their month's bandwidth in a weekend? <laughs> no, it's, it's, uh, it's just how it, it becomes passe to them. I, I, I'm just baffled by how, people, how easily that comes off uh, of people to say, oh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, okay, it's installing. Hold on a minute. There are a couple of systems here I could just wipe, but it's because the tools and stuff I use, like the code base, uh, I, I have them on a cloud system where I can just access them there. So they're on that system, they're not stored here. I have, I have a backup here, but I'm usually accessing them from there backing up to here, so it, it's less a thing, and that's so I can have them everywhere on all my systems. Oh, yeah. I mean, I go, oh, I cringe at the thought, and that's predominantly, to be honest with you, Wesley, that's predominantly why I hated Windows. For, so I, I mean, Windows 7 is, this Windows 7 is really, so I'm really happy with it. I'm about, I'm not, it's not the same, uh, it's not the same amount of euphoria, <laughs> for a word, uh, that I had with Windows NT4, you know, for back in the time, because I really love Windows NT4, but um, it's calming my nerves over the years um, for just my Windows, what, I, what I've had to put up with Windows over the years. But, and that's predominantly why Macs are my preferred computer. You know, it's, I, 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 you would literally have, remember the, the, many of the solutions for Windows, short of you, using you know, third party images, was constantly reformat. Yeah. Well, th this is why I don't use a Windows system unless I have to. I uh, thought so I prefer my Linux box. I, 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 you're never going to get me in the OS 10 camp because the reality is I, it's just, it, 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 it offers nothing that I can't get on Linux that I need. There are some things you can get on OS 10 you can't get on Linux. There are some things you can get on Linux you can't get on OS 10. But for what I generally need, it, it's like uh, I don't need OS 10. You know, that's. Well, Linux is, is a great system. It really is. I mean, there's. there's um... Oh, I have to restart this. Now, now, I'm not going to lie and claim I never use stuff like Wine or Crossover. I have to use those a lot because of some of the lack of commercial support. But How is Wine? Has it improved over, over the years? Or? It, it's really good support. Uh, there are some things where what you're going to have to do is open the application in Visual Studio and figure out what Dill calls you need to help Wine learn how to do. Uh, and then kind of copy them over, but uh, it, it it's 
it's pretty good. It's not perfect. It can't be perfect because it isn't actually Windows, but it's pretty it's pretty damn close to there. There are times you still need crossover. Honestly, if you're going to play a game, I, I recommend... Is this the same crossover application that Mac yeah. uses? Yeah. They, oh. yeah, it's the same company. Okay. They're the primary wow. contributors to the wine, co to the wine uh, code base. Same thing with Darwin. It's the same company. That, that's their bread and butter. What they do is make Windows stuff behave on Unix and Linux systems. That's what they do. <laughs> And then they push it upstream to, you know, the wine thing. Um, if you're doing more pro stuff, crossover is worth the money. I mean, it's 100 bucks, And it, it, you get unlimited bottles, unlimited systems. It, it, it's worth the damn money. It really is. <laughs> There's a, a bit, well, let me ask you, which Linux do you use? Uh, I don't want to say... I, I'm still I'm using... Not. Okay, here's the thing. I'm using PC Lin, but I've been using PC Lin since before they fucked up PC Lin. And the current version of PC Lin, if you were to go to PCLin.com right now and download it, is not the same PC Lin I came to know and love. Uh, I had not noticed they had gone as off the rails as they had because it's a rolling distro. I just updated and updated and updated. I hadn't done a clean install in forever. I did a clean install the other day, and I damn near didn't recognize the OS. I'm like, where's this application? Where's this stuff? Why are these settings not here? It basically, you can get there from here. You can add all the stuff they took out. It's still in the repository. You can change all the settings. You can do that stuff. But basically, it's not that it just works, damn it, just user-friendly, out-of-the-box experience. That was the whole point of using PC Lin. So, it... it yeah. You know, do you do you I you know back back in the day, uh, we had a a, uh, a, a program uh, called Linspire. That was a UI, a Windows like a kind of like a Windows UI layer. Yeah, uh, there's that's like the running com that's like the running gag in the Linux community. Oh, this is a Linspire product. We know why this doesn't work. <laughs> it's this. Yeah. It, 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 well, and here was the thing. Their 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 model was they were gonna charge for Linux and it was gonna work because it was cheaper than Windows. <laughs> and I'm like. <laughs> They were like targeting educational systems and so on and everything else. And it's, it's just, you know, it's, it, their business model kind of blew up on them because the people figured out, well, why are we even, why do we need Linspire? You know? It's like, that and honestly, they're one of about, I think, 10 I can think of off the top of my head that have done this over the years. They think the problem with Linux is that Linux doesn't look and behave like Windows. Here's the problem. Linux is a Unix-like system. You don't have a C drive. You have a root and subfolders off of it and so on and so forth. And the reality is you can emulate a C drive and a D drive and an A drive and pretend you have one, but you don't. And I'm sorry, it's just something you gotta get used to. That's a, that's a Windows mentality which doesn't have a place in a Unix or Linux system, and, and you you really do get a firmer grasp of this of the system and what you can do with a Linux or Unix system once you throw the idea of drives out because you get used to the idea of the file doesn't have to be here. I'm just going to link it here. I'm going to do here and, and so on and so forth. I mean, heck, my desktop here, no. With the exception of one file here, if I like show my desktop here on my current Linux system, I, I'm using the Plasmoid thing. Uh, ha actually, I can't cut it in over here right now because I don't have the thing installed over here to run it over here. Oops. So I, 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 I'll take a screenshot and then cut it in. Uh, but I have all the, I'm using the Plasmoid thing at KDE, and I have all these folders on here. And it's really funny when I think about it. Yeah. Not one of these folders that's on here is actually physically on my desktop. They're either in my home directory or on other computers or networked in. They're just linked in to act like they're local so I can access them that way. But it's like an alias almost. Yeah. 
you know, I just drug them here and created a folder view and just linked it in. That's and there's nothing wrong with that. It, it's uh, and that's one of the advantages of the Unix file system. It, Unix Linux file system it doesn't have to live here. I can link to it, alias to it. it it's, I don't need to copy it over here to have it here. It it's, doesn't even have to actually be on this computer. <laughs> when, when, when did you start? When did you start for? Uh, you know, I guess when did you decide to go to Linux, and what prompted you to? Uh I kept an eye on it for a while. I, I've been keeping an eye on it, honestly, since 98. It was one of those, oh, this, this, I like the potential, I like the idea, but it ain't ready. Uh, I used it, I, I, I always had to use, uh, you know, Apache and stuff for web pages because that just became the industry standard. Um, I, went, I always had a Linux partition around uh, but it was usually in a virtual machine just so I didn't have to deal with the headache of the case of having case sensitive file and nameless extensionless files and so on and so forth like you have with web pages like .ht access files or files without extensions or uh, files where the case is important because this is things the Windows file system doesn't handle properly so I, I needed a Linux or Unix uh, system to handle those files properly. I liked XP. Vista, I did not like. I got what Microsoft was trying to do, but and because because I've been using Linux and I've been keeping up with it, I, I took a look. I'm like, you know what? Wine's grown up. And I, honestly, when I realized what Microsoft was going to try and do with Vista, and I, they're going to try and steer everything this way. They're going to break all this shit. They're going to kill XP. And I, thought, and I said, you know what? Let me see if I can live entirely without Windows. And I, I forced myself to use nothing but Linux for a month. And I realized that's, I wasn't... That's awesome. I realized I'm not missing anything. I can run all the Windows software I need, or there's an open, or there's a Linux, or there's a proprietary for Linux counterpart to the ones I can't run in Wine. And I realized, okay, I don't need this. <laughs> so I just kind of moved on. <laughs> That's awesome. So basically, I keep I keep one Windows license around for if I so, so I can lawfully run in a virtual machine. Are, are a dual boot, but yeah, I I, I, I mean, I, I didn't, I, di I haven't completely abandoned Windows. I have to keep up with it because that's what a lot of people use. But I find I don't need it to get my work done. <laughs> and I sh uh, it does have an aspect in some of the processes of doing the show here. I'm not going to lie. You know, it, it's, the, the show is very platform everything. <laughs> I don't. I don't lie at that. There, there's code from all four main sets here. There's proprietary code. There's open code. There's stuff from Apple. There's stuff from Microsoft. All companies are involved in the process of making the show. And that's why we have glitches because they don't want to play nice with each other. <laughs> well, I am unsuccessful. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm trying to do two things at once. Anyway, I'm, I'm dealing with Malign, but. I installed, QuickTime did finally install on, on this Windows machine. I guess I've never installed it. And uh, Firefox won't recognize the um, the plugin. I don't know. What browser are you using? Firefox? Uh, Firefox and Chrome. You used Chrome? Yeah. What, how did you view this patent? That, yeah, QuickTime 7 installed on my Windows machine. Uh, when I viewed that, I was viewing it in Chrome. Uh, let me but that was on a Windows box at the time. Alright, let me... Uh... And I'm looking at it right now on the Linux box. That's funny that I can install the plugin on Linux and you can't on OS X. That's funny. I'm sorry. That's just... I, color me impressed. <laughs> well, everybody, you were wondering something. 
that at, you're wondering something that Windows and Linux can do that Apple can't. We've been looking for it. I never would have guessed it was install a QuickTime plugin. <laughs> it didn't show up on the damn browser. I mean, it's not that it, that it had to be installed because obviously I have QuickTime 10, but damn it. I don't know. I mean, this is a. You know, my mother complains about the patent office all the time, though. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I shouldn't be bothering you. I'm just like. No, I don't. Hey, what? That's what's happening. That is exactly what's happened. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't beat around the book. You know, that, that, that's, I'm not going to uh, defend something that is not defendable. <laughs> Firefox keeps adding. Now, this is on Windows, though. It's asking me to do the manual install, and I've done, I, I have installed it on Windows 7. Or what version of QuickTime are you running? It's QuickTime 7. Okay. That's the only version that Apple would give me. Is that the wrong version? Oh, I was going to say, if it was a 7 versus 10 thing, then running 7 would be a good test. So, you know, like, it takes me to the website, download QuickTime 7. Okay. So, I downloaded it, closed Firefox just like it said, and it's still, it says plug-in needed to display this content. Maybe the patent office is having a glitch right now, I don't know. Because this is on Windows, too. But you said you were able to see it. I don't understand that. Yeah. Maybe the patent office is having a problem right now. Maybe they've like made a glitch or something. I mean, isn't that a little bit weird? I'm just a little frustrated now. Okay, I might have a cached version of it here. Is that, you think? I'm not going to clear my cache to find out. Because <laughs> I really want to see these images, because I think it's I think it's just critical of, uh, I, I really want to see what they're arguing about. getting in my way and uh, with what they were doing with the UI with Vista it was just it was getting in my way and I decided okay screw this I don't need to put up with this anymore I, I mean the reality is I build my own systems uh, and like I said Let me ask you, a you, you build your own systems I obviously have a lot of my own built in systems but sometimes don't you get tired I mean, it's like, I, I, with, with the family now, sometimes I just don't even want to deal with it. Well, here's the thing. I don't mind buying a system as long as it, it uh, is disclosed what's in it. Or I don't have to do black box magic to figure out which network card they put in there and so on and so forth. If it's a good system, it's a good system. And if it's a good system at a fair price, I'll buy it. Now, I, I have a hard time, because I know how to build the system, to really justify paying much more than a 15 to 20 percent markup. Uh, and I prefer, honestly, a, an off-the-shelf one be less than a custom built. Uh, because it, it's like I said, I know what's in it. it it's, uh, where one of the reasons I put up with it son is because more and more you go to the shelf and you know even with Apple you know the they, Apple finally changed this in recent years but you'll find stuff like they've mismatched uh, the clock cycle of the CPU and the clock cycle of the memory it's like so basically you have to throw all the memory chips that oh, are in yeah, there away really? and, and put 
and and and, and then it's to, just to get the efficiency that that CPU is capable of, and then it's like, it's like I don't want to have to go buy parts and throw away old parts and stuff just to it's like just do it right in the first place. It, it, uh, it, things like that, uh, things that tend to be important to me in desktops is something you have a real hard time finding on the market today, and that is a good number of expansion slots. Um, you know, like five plus, and the reality is, even from Apple, that's hard to get. You know, it, it, it's so I, that means going custom built. Uh, I'd build my own laptops if the parts were accessible, because the things like I don't care about having a desktop replacement. I care about having certain aspects of the machine, not oh, I don't need a desktop processor in there. I don't need a an oh dear god powerhouse. I do want. Uh, a good balanced thing. I need swappable batteries because the point of a mobile system is to be mobile. You know, the reality is there is there today there isn't a laptop on the market that meets my specs for what I want in a laptop. Uh, uh, it, let me tell you what's the, the deal with this patent office. I have gone to another website and tested QuickTime. So on they're the having website, on the Apple website and the QuickTime runs. So they're having problems right now, then. I probably I, have a cached one. I, I mean, I just went to, to an Apple website, and because I, I, I just I went to the, the Firefox help page. I've never had this problem before. And they're saying, okay, go ahead and test your QuickTime. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to go test it. And so here I click it, and um, I, I'm going to the Apple events page. Okay. That's, what they, that's what they have here to test your quick time. And so this is Phil Schiller at the, you know, the education event. All right, let me clear my cache and make sure I don't sure. I don't know what plugin it needs further. And see here, it's playing. Okay, I've cleared my cache. To the, the Guggenheim Museum in New York City. Here he's walking out. Well, now I can't see them. Oh, you can't see it? Now that I've cleared my cache. <sighs> it's the government. It's the government. <laughs> <laughs> the damn government. <laughs> I did all this, God, all this mess, and I should have just dismissed it because it was the federal government. <laughs> see, you should have known it was the government. <laughs> No, but anyways, back to the Linux. I was even trying it on my Windows 8 developer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was like, I've never experienced anything like this. I know I was doing everything right. <laughs> and yet you assumed you were wrong. <laughs> I was like, this fucking, we just tried it. I said, all three machines are failing. <laughs> Okay, well, I wanted to see these fucking images, and then now we can't see and them. Now I, so, and now I can't get them. <laughs> I know, damn it, because I, I really wanted to see how... Um, yeah, there are pictures of the MacBook. Yeah. There's no website out there that shows these pictures. Obviously, it's, it's public. It's public information. Um, let, me, let, me, let me search that. I can't do it on my Mac right now. My Mac is actually is annoying. What would it be? Apple MacBook Air? Uh, MacBook Air patent. Yeah, there it is. The patent on the MacBook Air that wasn't? What does that mean? The Verge is saying that. Let's see what the Verge has to say. It says the, the patent on the MacBook Air that wasn't. Ah, now they, they can have pictures on this. It's like, um, figure one, figure two. Okay, let's see. On, on Tuesdays, you guys. <clears throat> Why do they say on Tuesdays? Plural. It literally says it on the verge. Check it out. It says on Tuesdays. <laughs> the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office publishers all the patents granted for the week and this week that it listed included a series of patents issued to Apple. My here, name. here, I got one for you that has the figures. Yeah, figure two and figure ten. Is that it? Fig figure one, two, three, four. Okay, put that in the show notes. Here. 
Go to this one. Where are you at? Oh, I see. Come on, Google Docs. It's not activating it as a link. What's wrong with this thing? I've noticed that Google Docs is getting just a little weird as a link. There it goes. Now it's a link. <laughs> yeah, okay, Redmond Pie. <laughs> Oh, okay, I see it. All right, so there's figure. Okay, so there's four. There, there's more, but these are the ones they included. <laughs> okay. But 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 like I said, they're basically just you know engineering patent sketches of the MacBook Air's design. Right. So the order. Okay. So the ornamental design of an electric or electronic device, which is patent number blah blah blah, lists the late Steve Jobs as one of the original inventors and adds to the former CEO list of patents on which he is named. The awarded patent makes no actual reference to the MacBook Air product name, but does include sketches and drawings of a tapered laptop, which undeniably represents the Air. Um, a portrait this week on the 9 to 5 website had claimed that an approach had been made to the... Is that one? Made to Pegatron. Am I, am I, like, too old to understand what this is? I, I, incidentally, people, if we wind up with a lot of fade to blacks and stuff, it's because we went on to a side conversation about how I wound up on Linux and Marcel trying to figure out how to get quick time to run on the government's site, and now we're back to the story we were on earlier. So I may wind up cutting that part out and moving it later and moving this into that other discussion we were having. All right, so, okay, so Pegatron is, is, is basically um, for designing, and it helps... Right. The whole. All right. So, by Apple, in an attempt to get them to stop production of the Asus Tech Zen, I haven't seen that. This the Zen book, laptop, which is uh, coincidentally identical in appearance to the MacBook Air. While they're, I, I don't think they they're. This is, this is not correct grammar. Well, there has been no official, I mean, has been. Well, I mean, this is an article that was written for thing. Uh, 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 but but uh, uh, like I said, I mean, take a look. They're showing the picture of the book they say looks like the MacBook Air down there. It does look like the MacBook Air. Well, right? uh, okay, but I mean, but, let, let's be honest. All of this stuff comes off the boat from China. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, you know, it's... But there were, I mean, there were, I mean, I, I, I got to see the wording, because you don't have to make everything look like the MacBook Air. I mean, you can get as thin and, and, and like, without the slope and all this other stuff. Well, but see, that, that's the thing. There's a number of things on the market that look a hell of a lot like the MacBook Air that are older than the MacBook yes, Air. Yes, this says, it says that the reported approach to the, regarding the Zenbook came before the patent was awarded to the company. Yeah. So, yeah, that is. And uh, it wouldn't surprise. Yeah, do you know if like, the suits didn't file a patent, they may lose. No, they will. They will lose because nobody thinks to patent. Oh well, this is the design I'm using. That is a white box design that was offered to me from the boat from China. Uh, I, I mean, the reality is, uh, it yeah, wouldn't. Okay, but see, this is an idiot statement. I don't think anyone wants to see Apple going head to head with companies like Dell and Samsung over this new patent. But the solution seems pretty clear: design something new. Well, if this is clearly designed before the patent was awarded, they can go screw themselves with a fucking comment like that. Well, and honestly, like I said, the design of the MacBook Air was in place before the MacBook Air was made. So you know, it. it <laughs> It, it, I, I, I don't know, it, but it, Apple has the patent now, you know, and it's back to the, f and we, with our restructuring of patent laws, it's first to file, so uh, it, it's not necessarily first to make. <laughs> I know, I hate that, I, I really disagree with the, um, with the whole, uh, These are interesting, though. So they have four figures of it. Mm -hmm. They actually have more. Like, if you go back to the patent page we were looking at, they've actually got 16 different angles. You know, front, top. It's rear, front view thereof, uh, rear view, 
left side, right side, top thereof, bottom there. Is, is that black one the Asus Zen book? Yeah. That's pretty nice. Proving once again that basic black looks so much nicer and Apple just doesn't understand design. <laughs> Computer black. It just looks nicer. I like the MacBook Air too. My wife likes it. You know, she. I think she's gonna end up getting one eventually. Like we, are, I've been saying for a while. But um, I, I, you know, even though I have one here, I do not like the netbook form factor. I don't. I, I just, I don't like it. 